can, can someone uh, read the, the full verse of this? Uh, Deuteronomy 32. Uh, 32, verse 10 and 11. Can yeah, 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 okay, okay. That's, that's, uh, can we stop here? He shielded him and cared for him. He guarded him as the apple of his eye. So that is one, one factor. And then? So that is the second portion of this verse from the Deuteronomy 32 to that 10 and 11. As we go through the uh, the story of Joseph, let's see the. If you can see, there are two factors here in this ver in this uh, verse. One is God's protection upon His children, and He protect us as the apple of His eye. Number one is protection, right? Probably you have been hearing me saying that over and over. Number one is protection. But number two is on verse 11. Like an eagle that serves up its nest and hovers over its young. That is telling us about the second, the second um, factor. That is the test, the trial, the education. The education piece of uh, God's God's uh, protection and God's uh, uh, education, God's uh, test on our in our life. So, when when you see uh, on the probably on the next slide, Joseph, a young man of seventeen, was standing the flocks with his brothers. The sons of Bilhah and the sons of Silpa, his father's wife, and he brought their father a bad report about them. So, so how? Let's see and let's let's watch how God processes us, every one of us. How God processes Joseph from this particular Joseph, from this condition of Joseph, unto the image of Christ later on in his life. As the second um, in command in, in in Egypt, right? How how he how he protects us, and how he educates us, how he protects Joseph, and how he also tests him, so that he will not be like this. Can you imagine when he was young, seventy years old? was standing the flocks with his brothers. The son of Bilhah and the son of Silpah, his father's wife, and he brought their father a bad report about him. That's, that's kind of Joseph when he was young. He was spoiled, mama's boy, right? And uh, uh, sending bad report. Reuben has done this. Bad Reuben. And um, he also said, oh, Simeon also, you know, you know the story, right? Um, Jacob has four wives, right? Number one is Leah. Number two is Rachel, Rachel. And he has, he has worked for Laban for 14 years to get, actually, he was targeting only Rachel. But uh, maybe the tradition, or he was deceived, as his name is Jacob. Jacob is deceiver, so he was deceived by Laban, and Leah was given first. And when he opened the veil at the at the <laughs> at the wedding day, oh, that's not Rachel, that's Leah. So 
and he has to work seven more years, so seven, 40 years to get Leia. And then later on, um, Leia was barren and didn't have uh, children, and okay, uh, I'll give you my servant. And so that we have Bilha and Silpa, all the what, servant or concubines or whatever, uh, um, the mistresses of Jacob. So we have four moms here. We have one father, and we have uh, 12, 12 brothers, 12 brethren with different moms, right? So you can understand that Jesus, uh, Joseph always uh, bragging himself, I'm the best one. I got the coat of many colors. I got the, uh, everything from my, uh, uh, our father, your father also, but the different mother. So um, I got everything, the best, the best of the land. Uh, because our father loves my mother better than your mother. So, so he is that kind of Joseph. He, he brought their father a bad report. So that's, that's kind of Joseph at that time. How can, how can God use this type of young, young people, a young guy, Joseph, to be the, the second in command in Egypt? Impossible, right? This, he will probably kill everybody. When, 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 when he became a, a, a second in command, and he controlled everything, the wealth, the, the food, even the food in Egypt, in Israel, everywhere. And he, he, is still, he, 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 he still have that, that bad character, the mama's boy character. Uh, he, will be, uh, he will probably uh, abuse his power and, um, and kill everybody. Okay, so... Let's see the story of Joseph from the perspective of that Deuteronomy that we have read. One is protection, and second is test. Joseph was spoiled, okay? We know that. He brought bad report. He brought a bad report. He probably is a racist too. Don't you think? Don't you think so? You have you 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 are from a different mom. Uh, you are from a servant. My mom is the real mom. Um, your mom is this is from a from a servant. So he's a racist. He is hanging on mother's skirt, on Rachel's skirt. Let's watch how God formed him from the spoiled boy to become the ruler the second in command in Egypt. This was a spoiled Joseph at 17. <clears throat> you know, God gave us vision. But how, how a spoiled boy treated a vision? So he, he told, Joseph had a dream. And when he told it to his brother, they hated him all the more. He said, listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheep rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. The vision, the prof prophetic word from God is not for, for you to boast and then uh, for, for Joseph to boast uh, against his his uh, brothers and and uh, um, and be proud of that. <clears throat> so, but he, uh, now what's how how God how God process him? Notice the immature, the immature Joseph. What's as he went through a threshing floor as a test. Notice the protection and trial. 
the shaking and the catching of that eagle, right? When we read about the eagle, number one is protection, but number two is shaking the nest, pulling the nest, pulling you from your comfort zone, kick you out from the nest. And then you have to, because the mother eagle knows already that you already grow the feather and you can, you can start to learn. You cannot just hanging like Joseph on mother's skirt, on Rachel's skirt. You cannot be like mother's boy and only bring good, bad report. You have to learn to fly, right? So he was kicked out. He was kicked out from the, from the, from the nest. But Deuteronomy said, also said that when that when that uh, young eagle, when that, that uh, young eagle was kicked out from the nest, and then he was probably crying and crying and crying, but, and he, he, he was forced to, to use his feather to learn how to navigate. And as that young eagle is about to press on, this, on the rock, that mother eagle hovers and then catch it. What is that factor? It's a protection, but at the same time, it's a test. That is Joseph's life. Notice the immature Joseph was as he went through a threshing floor. Notice the protection and trial, both sides. The shaking and the catching. God uses the same way, the protection and the trial, the shaking and the catching the education and the test, the hovering under his wings, but he allows us to go through a threshing floor. He allows us to go through a test. Amen? Notice the immature Joseph. Watch as he went through a threshing floor. Again, he got another dream. I see 11 stars and the sun and the moon and they, they fell down and, uh, uh, and honor me. Again, do you see this character, the young Joseph? The, uh, always bring bad report. This type of young people, of young guy like this, how God bring this to be the second in command. This was, was him. But it cannot happen. It cannot happen if the Lord doesn't, doesn't uh, pull the, the nest and kick him out from the nest so he can learn When he told his father as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, what is this dream of you? Will you, your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? His brothers were jealous of him. The brother just dismissed him. But his father kept the matter in mind because the, the father, Jacob, knows that this is not from him. This is from the God, from God, from the Lord, and give the prophetic word in his life. You will also receive prophetic word in your life, but you should handle it how how Joseph handles the prophetic word in his life. This is the the way he handles it. He posed it. He he tell he told everybody. Oh, Reuben. You will fall on your knees, on me. You will, you will, you will worship me. You will, oh, all kinds of. So that kind of Joseph. So the, he, he is a spoiled boy. He was a spoiled boy.
So now the mother eagle will start doing the the testing, right? The number one protection is already right. He, God protect Joseph. He give extra protection. He give the the I call it the Lamborghini of his time. He, he, he got the coat of many colors. Nobody else had, only him. But now, it's the testing. So, God allows this to happen in our life because God wants us to, to be mature, to, to, to grow up. His brother were jealous, but his father kept the matter in his mind. In, in, in mind. So now this testing has start. So he said to him, go and see if all well with your brothers and with the flocks and bring word back to me. Then he sent him off from the valley of Hebron. So Joseph probably was singing and bring all the food, bring uh, all kinds of food for, for his uh, ten brothers or I don't know, maybe 10 or maybe 11, maybe 10. Maybe 10 because uh, Benjamin, the, the smallest probably was still at home at the, in the tent. And uh, the 10 brothers, they, they tend the flock. Uh, they went out from Valley of Hebron. And then um, Jacob sent Joseph to go out. Jacob didn't realize that the testing has started. Joseph also didn't realize. He was singing, he was whistling, oh, and then singing, like Pastor Christina this morning, singing everything. <laughs> Did, Joseph was that, was like that. He was singing and bringing, with, with the good intention, right? Bringing all the food for the brothers. Oh, all the way. But the Lord from heaven see that. So it's Joseph. Joseph, that's good. <laughs> like Pastor, when we cry, 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 and say, this, Son, you are okay. You are okay. <laughs> yes? Yeah. You're okay. Like uh, this morning we, we heard about that, Pastor Christian. Uh, from so many hours of crying and tears and probably blood also, but the Lord said, it's okay, my son. So this is what, what, what uh, has been planned by God. Joseph had to be put on training and trial and testing. Joseph had to be removed from the comfort zone of the eagle's nest. Don't forget about the Deuteronomy. All this story is only on the two factor, protection and testing. Joseph had to, had to be put in training, in trial and testing. Joseph had to be removed from the comfort zone of the eagle's nest. It's all God's plan to remove him from his mom's Rachel's skirt. The eagle that stirs up its nest is Joseph was probably whistled along the valley of Hebron and going to Shechem and then later to Dothan. So if you see, and now Joseph is out of the protection of his mom, right? He is out of the comfort zone. He is out of the nest. He, he, is, he has to start learning how to navigate life. But don't forget that the, the protection factor is still there. Because Deuteronomy, God is faithful. God is faithful and true. When he, when he, he said that he, won't, he, he protect us as the apple of his eye, he will do that. But also, don't forget that we need to be mature. We need to be trained. We need to be tested. We need to go through trial. We need to go through threshing floor like Joseph. Otherwise, you, you will still be a mama's boy. You cannot be the second in command in, in Egypt. Can you? You can, right? You can? 
to, to be able to be a, the second in command, you have to go through this. You have to be out of your nest. You have to be kicked out. Joseph was protected. But also, has to. here comes the dreamer, all the, the brothers. They said to you, no, he is out. He is out of Rachel's, uh, of uh, anti, anti Rachel's um, uh, skirt, protection. Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of these sisters. <clears throat> and say that a ferocious, ferocious animal devour him. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. You know, the evil plan, the evil plan of uh, Reuben and his brothers. Will it materialize or not? We can see the still the protection factor. The protection factor in. In, um, in Joseph's life. When Reuben heard this, he tried to rescue him from their hands. What, is, what, what did you read that? Deuteronomy is a protection factor, right? He wanted to be killed. But God didn't allow Joseph to be killed. So he, he moved Reuben's heart. Let's not take his life. Don't shed any blood. Throw him into his, the cisterns here in the wilderness. But don't lay a hand on him. Reuben said this to rescue him from them and take him back to his father. That's Reuben's plan. Reuben was, move, was moved by God to, to protect, to send him back. That's God's plan, right? That was Reuben's plan. Reuben's plan was not so good. Because if Reuben's plan uh, materialized, he will be back to Mama's Rachel, right? He will be back to the comfort zone of that nest. He will be in that warm zone in the nest. He will, he will get the protection, but he will not get the training. He will not get the pass, right? So, if you watch later, Judah said to his brother, what will we gain if we kill our brother and cover up his blood? They want to kill and, and uh, just kill this uh, dreamer. He's always uh, uh, predicting that we will, we will uh, bow down uh, in front of him. And we, we want to see whether that plan, that plan will materialize or not. Come, let's sell him to the Ishmaelite and not lay our hands on him. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. His brother agreed. Okay, so if you see here, there are so many plans. Reuben's plan, God's plan, and this is Judah's plan. Judah's plan, uh, actually, we can see both factors here. The protection, so he didn't kill, right? Judah, Judah didn't kill, Judah didn't kill Joseph, right? That is the protection factor, right? But also, Joseph didn't, uh, Judah didn't send him back to his father. Judah didn't send him back to Mama Rachel, right? So, so that's God's plan, amen. So we got both. The Deuteronomy 10, 11, both factor. The protection factor, like the apple of his eye, but also, so didn't kill, right? But also the second factor, that is the testing, going through the threshing floor. Let, let, I have to continue very quick here. <laughs> the Lord was with Joseph. What is that? What is that? Which part of Deuteronomy is that? The Lord was with Joseph. What is that? That's the protection factor, right? So that he prospered. He was sold to, to Potiphar and lived in the house of his Egyptian master, Potiphar. When his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did. Okay. 
So in this case, God already in in His uh, plan. You you know when when He was put in the dungeon, probably He will cry like us, right? Crying, 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 Ooh, cry, cry, cry the whole night. Because when He cry, Mama Rachel will come. But now, no Mama Rachel. Mama Rachel did not come. He cried the whole night and he learned immediately that it's futile. It's no use to cry. Right? So, that's the testing 101. That is the testing 101 that happened in his life. And he was sold to an Ishmaelite caravan going to Egypt, to Egypt, you know, when, as a slave, he already paid the price to the ten brothers. He was carried like this over all the, like the, the, the desert. And probably he was, he cannot cry anymore, right? He cannot cry. Rachel will not, Mama Rachel will not hear it anymore. Yeah. And, uh, so he was all his uh, his pride everything has been processed and uh, he has no he he was a slave with no right with nothing no identity so he he cried he cried but he he knows that he can only trust in god he can only, probably, I don't know, if uh, at that time, Lord, you give me a dream. One day, the ten sheep will bow down on me. But now I'm a slave. How can that, how can that be accomplish that, that dream, that goal, that, that prophetic word? It's so far away. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel? So he, he, he questioned God. I, I put it on my... Um, um, presentation here pleasing God like Gideon Lord I have doubt on you uh, is, is this still still materialized or not the plan so like Gideon if you are true Lord let this fleece has a, a lot of water and the rest is is uh, dry and then the next day they, they flip it he flipped again. Gideon also flipped that back. So this will be dry. The rest will be will be uh, a, a lot of water. So that's why we, we heard about this. And we are also probably like that. On a certain time of our, when, when our, uh, our faith is in the lowest point, we want to see God, are you, are you, are you there, my Lord? Why, when, when, when I go through this desert, when I go through this dungeon, when I go through this, where were you, Lord? Where were you? So we want to test God. We want to, we want to please God. Let's, let's do it quickly. Um, so, <clears throat> but at the house of Potiphar, uh, that protection was still there. The, the factor of don't don't forget this two factor right the whole the whole the whole story is actually the story of protection and test this comes another test Potiphar's wife like him um, and want to sleep with him Lord I did my best I did this good I did the the right way, but now why I am in jail? Why I am in jail? So I have good intention, my lord. I I I didn't want to sleep with with the Potiphar's wife, my my boss's wife. But now I went to jail. But even under 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 journey to jail, you know when. When a, a slave commits sin, commits something wrong, so he deserves to be put to death, right? Right? Slave, no right. Yeah? You did wrong, you have to 
although this is a false accus accusation, maybe Potiphar maybe know already. Oh, my wife will probably. Uh, so he did not he did not kill Joseph. He put Joseph into jail. When you see here, what factor do you see? Protection, right? He didn't go to. He didn't. He didn't. He was not killed. That's the protection. But at the same time, God is cheering over there. Okay, it's okay, my son. You go to jail. It's okay. I will protect you. I will not kill you. I will protect you. But you have to go through this. So he cleaned the restroom in the jail. Can, can you imagine the, the restroom in the jail? Um, you know, all the all the dirt, all the filth, all the. So he has to do it. When when he when he remember, when I was. In Mama's Rachel's tent, I got so many things in my life. The coat of many color. I don't have to do this. All the servants will do this, but now I have to to do this. You know, that's the test. But also the protection at the same time. God's design is so wonderful. To bring this Joseph, to bring this, uh, bringing a bad report of his brothers to become the second person in command in Egypt. So, even in, in the, in the, in the jail, in the in the prison, he was so prosperous. He was uh, favored by his boss, and he has, he can do anything. He can do everything. He, he he make everything clean, all the everything, and so that is the protection, right? That's the protection pro, pro, uh, factor. That's the provision factor from the Lord. But at the same time, now. It's a different Joseph now. Joseph is, is no longer a mama's boy. Joseph is on his own, managing, uh, navigating through life. And he found favor and he cleaned. He will, he will not cry anymore. He will not cry like, like the, when he was uh, put in dungeon. He cleaned, the, he cleaned the, the, the restroom of the jail and, and the prison, probably whistling, singing. Uh, singing, um, worshiping the Lord with gladness. So we can see how this, the, the young eagle was put to different states in his life. Kicked out from, from the presence, from the presence of Jacob and Rachel, and now become a better and better and better. So, So Joseph could not cry anymore. He quickly realized that there would be futile to cry. He was made of no reputation like the life of Jesus, Philippians 2, 6, 7. Jesus was made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. So he has to follow his boss. Je Joseph has to follow like Jesus. He relies. He just has to surrender and depends on the Lord himself. I have to skip this. But while Joseph was there in the prison, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness. What is that? Factor what? The protection factor, right? Provision factor. And granted him favor in the eyes of the prison of warrior. But at the same time, he did the training. So training is no longer training 101, but maybe training 201, training 301. So he, he, he already passed several tests. 
and he was made responsible for all that was done there in the jail. So, let's continue. And then later on, I want, I want to uh, fast forward this. During the, uh, the Lord, the Lord gave him the vision, right? That Egypt will be seven years of, uh, of uh, a lot of uh, uh, fertility in, in, in the land. And then seven years after that, there will be, there'll be famine. God gave him, God gave him the vision. God him gave him the prophetic word. Okay, so if, if in your life, you have prophetic word, like what we sing, he is faithful and true. He will carry, he will carry you through all the plan. And even, um, even he, uh, the evil one tried to jeopardize the, the plan. God's plan in his life will carry through. So it's just, that's why uh, Job said, like what we sang today, I know my Redeemer lives, and at then in the end he will stand on the earth. Although this means a very, very long suffering. You know, you know why, why English word? Say long suffering is really long. Yeah, if you if you suffer, if you if you need patience, it's it's a long, long, long suffering. How many decades? I don't know. But he is not the same Joseph anymore. And then that fast forward, he already became the the second person in command. You know that he interpreted the dream and he, um, and, uh, he became the, uh, the son-in-law of uh, Pharaoh and then, and then after that he, he, uh, he controls the wealth, the food, everything in Egypt. And he is the, the person who knows, who, le who learn, who, who study. You know, he probably he used the management also. How this this process will take about fourteen years. He knows the end. When on the year eight there will be famine, but he knows already the the end of the tunnel, right? The light of the end of the tunnel. He knows that this will be seven years. It's okay on the on the because we have already built all kinds of silos of all the grain. And he knows how to, how to uh, conserve, how to control that. He learns it because he has the vision, because he has the prophetic word. He prepares already. When you pray, when you, you, when you, when you pray for, for rain, you, do, you bring, do you bring your, your umbrella? Or if, if, you, if you pray for bread, do you bring, bring your bread basket? Joseph knows already. 14 years, this process Starting from year eight, there'll be famine, and there'll be seven more years until the end, until God uh, allows the rain to come, come down. So how in that seven years, I have to, when, when he said to his brother, God sent me ahead of you here to manage this, to, to manage Egypt, to manage Israel, to manage the, the wealth, to manage the the food, so all will be, uh, so you can live. So that, so he, he was probably a very alone, very, 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 but he learned. He learned how to pres preserve grain. Seven years. So this must be probably using a accounting uh, theory of uh, Brother Gordon also, right? Maybe first in, first out, or I don't know which one. Last in, first out, or first in, first out, so that the grain will not rot. So he, he. I don't know if that time there is some, some. Um, so it, he has to learn how to 
take care of the humanity. He has to take care of everything. He learns that. He researched that. He did not. He did not sleep. He didn't. He did not stay. Okay, this is the vision. Then just doing nothing. But he researched everything. This task is for me, for me to do. And I've, if I fail, a lot of people will die. So he knows his responsibility. So he learned it. That kind of Joseph. Can you imagine? A couple decades ago, he was like a mom, just Rachel's mama's boy. But now he, he has to learn. And, he, and also, later on, uh, there is no hate anymore in his heart. And his brother came to see him. They didn't know. This is my 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 bro, uh, This is this the ruler. This this young ruler from Egypt. Uh, he can have power over us, and he can kill us. And they they were surprised probably how how he knows this this ruler knows where Reuben has to sit. Where Judah, he knows one by one, he knows, okay, uh, what is your name? Reuben, okay, you sit there. What is your name? Judah, you sit here. What is your name? Simeon, you sit here. They, they were so astonished. This is according to the, to the age or to the... So, but of course, Joseph knows. But he didn't reveal at the time. He wanted to test first. He wanted to test whether... His brother has still hate him or not. He has already forgiven everything. Because he knows that you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. He knows the, the big picture. He knows the big picture in his life. He, will, uh, he, he knows that vengeance is not his. Vengeance is God. So he will not kill his brother. Because he was put, if God was put, uh, put him here to go through the trial, to go through the test so that he can save life. What, what, a, 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 what a beautiful uh, 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 wisdom and paradigm in, in his life changed that he can say, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. If that happens a couple of de decades ago, when all the 10 chiefs, 11 chiefs bow down on him, he will probably kill them, kill 10 and just save Benjamin to, as a, a vengeance. You try to kill me, I will kill you now. You, you don't have power, I have the power. But he didn't have that anymore because he knows because he has already gone through the process. He has already kicked out from the nest. He has already know how to fly as a young and a powerful eagle. As an adult eagle, he knows already. That's what you have been through. I want to, uh, can I ask for a few more minutes? I, will, I want to testify on my, on my, so in, 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 in this life, you, you, you know that you have a prophetic word. Yeah? You, you know already at the, the end of, uh, of the tunnel, you know that. There is a light at the end of, of the tunnel. So there is a hope. There's, there's a hope in, in, in the Lord Jesus because you have to go through these two process, the protection and also the test. But when, when you drive, sometimes there is a detour, right? When there is a detour, don't complain. <laughs> don't cry. Yeah, when then there is a detour, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, of course, I'm late. I have to go. <coughs> I have an appointment. I have a, I have a meeting. <coughs> I, I cannot afford a detour. But if you have a detour in your life, the Lord is still faithful and true. He will carry you over there. 
maybe the detour was was a uh, was a uh, a benefit to you, right? At least you will learn that you depend on Him only, and on Him only. I came here to United States when I was 43, 27 years ago, and I have all the vision, everything. I know that I have to come here. Yes, I know. And we came. Even there are stories when uh, test, testimony when when uh, before I came here. Now. In, in Jakarta, at that time, I was already very, very prosperous. I can, I, uh, our company <coughs> built factories, and I'm the head of that. I'm the head of engineering, and you have to, I have to select machines. Machines, uh, sometimes machinery uh, for cold storage, it costs like $500,000, like a half million dollars. I have to, I have to sign, I have to, Approve that. I have to select which which vendor. I try, they try to bribe me. Yes, but I know. Um, so that kind of a position I have. I can decide myself when I go to overseas, and every time I go overseas, of course, um, they give me. Um, I think for them like probably hundred dollars something per day, and and I've never used it because over there they treated me. They, 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 they. So, uh, back home, for like uh, two weeks from 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 a, a, a business trip overseas, I bring home like fifteen hundred dollars or something like that. But then, I left everything. I have to go through the threshing floor also. I'm forty three. I was forty three. And I, I, okay. I'm an engineer. So proud of I'm engineer like that, yeah. And I, oh, I will, I will get a job easily here. Nothing. One month in Florida, one month in in uh, Birmingham, uh, Alabama. I came to Houston two months after that. I know, okay, this is the place. I I I know that there's the, there's a voice. Um, so I, I rent an apartment. Without job, without nothing. But I know this is the place. So you know, in in your in your walk with the Lord, you still have that that vision. You still have that prophetic words, everything. But sometimes you have to be out of the from the mess. So to prevent the the money draining out. Uh, in the morning, I try to look for a job. As a engi- engineer, or as a as a, a computer programmer, and nothing. And I was a uh, and I was working. I start my my first job. I started as a a cashier at Kroger. Minimum wage. I don't know what time. Uh, Four four dollar twenty five cent. Or I didn't that time. I, I don't remember. So in the morning, I work. Uh, no, no, I I am. I try to find job as a engineer or as a computer programmer. At six o'clock, five o'clock p.m., I work at Kroger as a cashier. My English was not very good. Even right now, it's not very good. <laughs> so. Um, uh, an old lady probably uh, uh, grumbled, uh, uh, this is too slow. This man that doesn't understand English. So so I have to go through that. That's my testing. That's my testing one-on-one. And then sometimes uh, when, when I work as a cashier, uh, the cashier was there. So I have to, okay, I have to work. I work as a uh, sucker, you know sucker, right? The the one who put the grocery in the bag, and after that, uh, sometimes the um, a woman asked me to to bring to the to the car, 
push the part and then put it in the in the trunk. And after that, I got a tip, 50 cents or one dollar. You know, I cry. In Jakarta, I can decide myself when I want to go to overseas. Every every trip, I bring down, I bring back. Fifteen hundred dollar, probably more. So, but here, I have to go through that. At night, like ten o'clock, I drove. I drove Kroger from Nasa Road One to El Camino, where I live, uh, my apartment, and I drove at ten o'clock. And I said to the Lord, Lord, if you say okay, I have to say okay. If I have to go through this. I will be, I will obey, and I have to say okay too. So that's my test. So it, all the ego is gone. You are not, you are no longer under Rachel's skirt anymore. So I, when I drove back ten o'clock, Lord, Lord, if you say this okay. If you say this is okay, I have to say okay, Lord. In just two weeks, within two weeks, I got a job as a computer programmer until now. But also, I remember a couple, uh, uh, probably a decade, decade back, I was going through a detour. That's why I said the detour can be beneficial to you. Don't complain when you have a detour in your life. As a, as a progression planning manager in the, in the factory, I have to use computer. My boss came to me, uh, okay, you are a mechanical engineer, but I want you to learn computer. So I have, I, I research everything, I, not knowing that was a detour in my life. I didn't complain at that time. I just learned. And the first job that I got in America is actually at that time, engin engineering job was very bad. But I got a, a job as a computer programmer. Just in two, about two weeks after I, I worked at the Kroger. That's my testimony. So the Lord is still doing the same thing in your life. He will, he will test you, but He will protect you. He will provide everything for you, but He will also put you on the threshing floor to make you mature so that when now you are prosperous, I have everything, I'm, I'm blessed beyond measure, you cannot say, this is mine. This is my effort. This is only God's. Only God. You know how to how, how find a job? When I, there was a company, you know how easy for God to, to give you blessing? So he, he designed everything. I was so desperate to find a job, right? I worked as a cashier, as a checker, as a, as a sucker. But in 1990, there was a company that uh, went through a chapter 11 on the process of uh, uh, bankruptcy. Everybody, all the employees, okay, you, you brush up your resume, go find job. We will close. We will be closing. This is a sinking ship. But the, the sinking ship has to be taken care of for at least six months. Everybody is already leaving the company. So they are desperately to find a worker, an employee who want to take care within the, within the six months. And the Lord just matched me to that company. So it's not yours, it's God's. God's, take care of that. I, I was so desperate, desperate to find job. And this company also desperate to find an employee. And he just matched me. So I got a job. I was hired at that time. You work now. 
today. And after six months, the company went bankrupt. But I have already, I have already, uh, in my resume, I work already in IT. So it was so easy to, after that. So God's provision in your life. God's protection in your life. God has a plan for you in your life. A plan that is not evil plan, but a plan that will not harm you, but will give you peace, will give you, will give you provision.